What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Herps and today I'm going to do a garter snake update and collection video. So you can see I have my mail double hit for snow going ham right now on camera. These This guy does not do well with handling at all whatsoever. But double hit for snow means he's hit for anerythristic and hit for albino planes. So he's double hit for snow. In most ball python morphs uh, well, in ball pythons, snow is a combination of exanthic and um, albino. In garters, a blizzard is exanthic albino. Nice. He's actually giving me a nice chill shot so you guys can look at him. So, let's see if you can get his size. It's not like ball pythons. I can't just really like spread them out and show you guys his size. So, it's going to be a really quick update because garter snakes, again, they don't sit still. They're really fast super fast. This guy lunges out of his tub every single time without fail. He, sometimes he's he's hiding beneath the substrate and he just darts right on out. I have to be careful because if, if I'm holding him up high he uh, he almost like literally jumps right out and but he always catches himself before I could catch him. So there's him. Not much of a, a handling type of garter, but I do have a couple that do let me handle. Now onto the biggest garter snake I own. This girl's almost, well she's a still a sub-adult, but she's huge. I mean, if you compare her to some of the garter snakes I'm going to show you, she's ginormous. But she is super sweet. I mean, she's completely calm, unlike the other guy. She can sometimes, you know, not want to be held or anything like that. But what I love about garter snakes is they look freaking evil for the most part. She's so much more docile than the last one. By all means, these guys don't try to bite me or anything, but that male, he's just super hyper. These are great snakes to have as pets and to have in a in, uh, little like terrarium because these guys slither so fast and when they explore, it looks super cool. So she's also 100% double hep for snow. Look at that evil look. I'll show you guys a picture of an anerythristic. Picture of an albino. And then a picture of a snow. Beautiful looking girl. Red tongue with the black on the top. All the garter snakes have this unique head marker. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a socket, like a yellow socket on the top of their head. Like two yellow lines. You checking me out? You want to bite me? I'm not food. Gorgeous female. A couple more months and then she'll be ready to breed. I can produce, again, snows, anneries, albinos, and I got to do more research on it, but I guess the albinos, um, which she contains the gene for, they're polygenic for um, hypomelanistic. So in some pairings, um, or most pairings, if not all, you can get hypos and hybinos, hypoalbinos. So she's got a lot of breeding power. She's definitely checking me out. But uh, let's get on to the next snake. Okay, here we have my male albino checkered garter. So he's different locality and I guess subspecies of garter than the last two I showed you. I forget the scientific name of these guys, but the other ones are, are T. radix. This guy, um, he escaped for like two weeks, and I found him hiding behind my daughter's toy chest. And he was skinny, and now he's right back to the way he was. These guys eat a lot. Those ruby red eyes, those nice lavenders. This guy's super cool. He's finally calming down in terms of like letting me handle him, but he can be really fast and skittish, just like the uh, male... Um, T. radix. Super alert. Great eater. 
really active. The uh, checkered garter was my very first garter snake, my very first snake ever. Got it when I was about like 12 or 13 ish, right around that age. Bought it from a local swap meet. My grandma bought it for me, and fell in love with the the species. I just love how active they are and how you can feed them things other than mice. Even though it's good to feed these guys um, hoppers when they get older and pinkies. This guy is already eating on pinkies, but mainly his main diet is silver-sided fish. And then every once in a while they'll get um, uh, night crawlers. But more consistently it's on pinkies and silver-sided fish. See, he has that little light socket head stamp. It's hard to see. There it is. You can see it there. Look at this camera shot. can't believe it's picking it up. He's got bug eyes compared to like the other ones. What are you looking at, boy? Wow. That's a good shot right there. Alright, next one. To the favorite garter snake in my collection so far is this female albino checkered garter snake. Now she is a complete sweetheart. And it's funny. She She's getting used to me and she kind of knows when not kind of, she knows when I'm opening up her, her cage because she comes darting out and one time she, she tried to bite me because she thought she was getting fed. That was hilarious. Oh, she's super active right now. I'm trying to show you guys her head. She's gorgeous. She has the sweetest head. She looks pure evil. Her eyes are dark cherry red. That little light socket head stamp. Bright lavenders and yellows, just perfect snake. Love this girl to death. Can't wait to see her full grown. Definitely gonna go to a pairing with uh, the last snake I just showed you. Just pure evil looking, love it. So much spunk, so much personality. Gorgeous. Alright, I know this is going to be a long video, but I said it was going to be a short video, but it turns out I'm getting some good camera angles, so I'm trying to show her off, show them off. Alright, on to the next one. Next garter snake. Super tiny. This is a red albino T. radix, so this is the same subspecies as the very first two snakes I showed you, but this is a red albino. So it's a it's a line of albino that's been bred selectively to produce high red sides and this is definitely brighter orange compared to the regular um, albino plains garters. This guy's so tiny. Mommy. He's got some stuck shed on the second half of his body. Excuse the background noise. Nice red eyes. Purple head. These guys are going to look so crazy when they're adults. They look completely different. They still keep that orange stripe all the way down the back, but they get these high red sides and they look almost completely white. There's him. It's a better look at him. I know the unboxing video, it's hard to get a good look at these guys. Gorgeous. Signature head or uh, wall socket head stamp. Uh, he didn't finish shedding all the way. On to the next one. Last but not least, this is the female red albino garter. Come on, sweetheart. She's super hyper. She does not sit still. These are really powerful. Really good to have and very hard to find. I got lucky and snagged a pair while they were up. And I'm sure they're already sold out. Um, if I remember right, these guys are also um, hit anerythristic. I think their siblings were snows, so that's a plus. So I can get some super nice snows out of this pair. And some aneries. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the garter snake collection as much as I do. 
watching these guys grow they grow really fast so it's almost like overnight you'll see these guys just like double in size with each video as always Anthony from Granddaddy Herps peace